using elimination. It feels like we've been working on systems for two months, <laughs> but we haven't really. If, you know, we had this two weeks we were distance learning where we only saw each other a couple of times a week. Uh, they were slightly longer classes, but still. We did some work last week. This week we've cut a different schedule and we've got today for a full day of math is the only day this week where that's happening. Um, so it feels like we're piecing it together, but I think as we go through this today, you're going to see how this way of solving systems can be helpful in certain situations. We know that if, it, if they're easy equations that are in y equals mx plus b form, it's easy to put those on a graph and just look at where they cross and be done. But sometimes where they cross is not an easy place to find. We have looked at substitution. We just solved a word problem where if you can solve for one of the variables, you can substitute it in, get that one of them and solve for the other. Today we're going to look at elimination. And I want you to set up your paper today kind of like Cornell notes. We're going to make two columns. Column on the left smaller, column on the right with room to work. And I want you to write down this system just like I have it written down. There's a couple of things I want you to notice about these, this system of equations. They're in standard form. They don't always have to be in standard form to use elimination, but it's the most simple way to use elimination. The second thing I want you to notice about this is I have the like terms lined up. Do you see that there? We, I do tend to reference this as lined up. And this is what I mean by it. The X terms are here, the Y terms are here, and the constants or the just the numbers alone are over here. Once I have a system that I see both equations are in standard form and I've lined them up where the x's and the y's and the constants are lined up, I'm basically looking at this as an addition problem. I'm going to combine my like terms between the two equations by adding them and I want to ask myself what can I eliminate? When I put these together, what's going to get zeroed out? One. Tell us more, Ben. Exactly. I see right here, these Y terms are going to eliminate each other. I have a positive Y and a negative Y, and if I add those together, I get zero. So this is what I'm going to eliminate. What do I have left? I'm going to still add the rest of these to get to the next step. I have x plus 2x gives me 3x. 7 and 2 gives me 9. Now I have 3x equals 9. What's my x going to equal? It's going to equal 3. That is step one of elimination. Line them up and see what's going to become a zero. Sometimes they don't have something obvious like plus y and minus y, and we'll do a problem like that in a minute. But right now we have the x. What do we need to find? 
what's the other half of the solution? Yeah, we need the y. So we're going to go back up to these two equations and pick one. I always pick the one that looks like it'll be the easiest to work with. And we're going to go back to substitution. And we're going to sub in what we found for the x so we can find the y. That means my solution is x is 3, y is 4. We have solved a system of equations using elimination. I am guessing you all know, like, hey, give us 10 problems to practice. We got this. You probably want to see a little bit more. Am I right? Let's do one where it's not as obvious as plus y minus y. The next system I'd like you to write down is x plus 3y is equal to 7. And 2x plus 2y is equal to 6. Again, I'm thinking, are they in standard form? Yes. Are they lined up? Yes. I want to draw my line and show that I'm going to add them together. Is there anything there right now that's going to cancel out to a zero? When I don't see anything obvious, I know I need to make a change. So I ask myself, what can I change? so I can eliminate. I am looking at this and thinking, hmm, this is a positive 2x. How can I make this x terms go away if I make this into a negative 2x. So I'm going to change the first equation by multiplying it by negative 2. And I'm going to end up with negative 2x minus 6y equals negative 14. How did I get each term? Negative 2 times x gave me this. Negative 2 times 3y gave me negative 6y. And negative 2 times 7 gave me negative 14. Do we see where they all came from? Okay. I don't always do this step, but I'm going to do it so it's nice and clear for you all learning this. I'm going to now take the second equation and I'm going to rewrite it underneath here. What can I eliminate now? I can get rid of my x's. That leaves me with negative 6y, positive 2y. That's negative 4y. Negative 14 and positive 6 is going to leave me with negative 8. I divide by negative 4. y is equal to 2.
we eliminated x and we got y, that means we have to go back to one of the original equations and use one of them to get our x now. Again, I always go for the easiest equation. I think the first one here is the easiest. We're going to take this y that we got and it's going to go here. x plus 3 times 2, x plus 6 equals 7, I'm going to subtract the 6, and x is equal to 1. And there's my solution. What questions do you have?